So you want to stream vertically to TikTok using OBS. Well, Atom have two plugins. One is Atom Vertical and the other is Atom Multistream. And it totally depends on how you want to set up your OBS. So I'm going to show you how to do both. They're both slightly different. I have a video on Atom Multistream, which I am going to go into in this video, but I'm going to show you the vertical canvas as we're just focusing on TikTok. But if you want to check out the horizontal canvas, I have a video and it's linked above there somewhere. So we're focused on streaming vertically to TikTok or any other vertical platform. I will leave a link to where you can download the files below in the description, but atom.tv is where you want to go and products. And you can see on the drop down menu, we have atom vertical and we have atom multi-stream. So I'm going to show you the vertical plugin first, which is using the OBS camera, the virtual camera. And you'd use that to send a virtual camera signal into TikTok live studio. So you've got to have both open. So we'll download the vertical plugin, download vertical for free. Once that's on your computer, open up OBS, go to docs, and you should have vertical in the drop down menu. Click vertical, it's now appeared for me on the right hand side of my main canvas. You can move this, but a lot of people typically like to have it there. I like to have it there. You probably like to have it there. This is just the canvas. You need the scenes and the sources. So go back to the docs and go to vertical sources and vertical scenes. And now you can see that they have appeared along the bottom. And now you need to build your canvas. Obviously, I don't have anything on this stream because I'm not streaming right now, but here's something I prepared earlier. So we're gonna have an image of some DJ equipment and a second video of me where you can see how my room really does look. That's a C922, that's my first streaming camera. This is my hypothetical stream. So this is the horizontal 1920 1080p. We need to get this in a vertical format. So we're going to add in our vertical scene. So we'll do main and we're gonna add in some sources. So the source is video capture device, video capture, hey, look, oh, how many versions of me can you get? Look at this, there's three of me now. How ex How lucky are you? You're so lucky, look at this. So if you wanna get this centered in your vertical canvas, so say you got it all the way up here and you're trying to get it centrally, firstly, you did a really bad job, but secondly, right click and go to transform and center horizontally. And then you could also do transform center vertically, but obviously, we need it a bit further up than that because we're going to put this epic DJ equipment underneath. So we're going to go to image and it's image two. DJ equipment is transforming and centering horizontally. Cameras on the top. Look at that epic canvas. Are you jealous? I would hope so. That's the main scene. We also want to have a start screen and we can use the start screen that is here on my original Twitch stream. So we can get that by doing a vertical scene, start screen. And we're going to add in a, because this is a video, so media source and start screen. Center it. Center it vertically. And there you go. Now you can position that a bit more differently if you'd like to, but there you go. There's the start screen now. I'm going to put this to the top of my scenes using the up arrow because I like things to be in order. And then something really, really useful, highly recommend, right click, go to linked scenes and click stream start in that instance and main, right click, linked scenes, DJ scene, which is what that one is. And now if you press over on the left, DJ scene, stream start, they will switch back and forth when you click on OBS on the main canvas, which is really useful if you want to switch scenes and only use one canvas to do so. So now we need to send this into TikTok live studio and you need to have over a thousand followers to be able to stream live on TikTok or depending on when you watch this video and what happens in the US, be outside of the US again. 
We have this OBS here, which is what one I made earlier. If you want to add any sources in, you just do add source and you can do a uh, camera. And then you have the option down here to do OBS virtual camera. Select your settings and add that as a source. So I've already done one here. All I need to do is activate the OBS virtual camera, which is this. It now selects OBS virtual camera. And if you come back into TikTok, you have your OBS virtual camera inside of TikTok. Then you hit go live and you need to enter in your live details, your stream title, and you go live using TikTok Live Studio. Now, the downside of doing it this way is that when you open up OBS, you're gonna have to enable your vertical virtual camera every time on OBS when you open it up. And you're gonna have to open up TikTok Live Studio, make sure that's all connected and enter your stream details, your title and everything and hit go live in TikTok Live Studio as well. And also you're gonna have to make sure that you have your audio sources set up. So this device is not connected or available because it's not turned on, but set your audio to TikTok through here, through the audio sources and then hit go live. So there's a few buttons and programs that need to be opened up in order to use this vertical canvas. But once you've opened them all up, it's really helpful having the linked scenes that you can go back and forth between the two of them. Uh, but you are gonna have to enter in your stream title every time and hit go live. So that's the downside and you need to have TikTok Live Studio open at the same time. All right, so if you're getting something out of this, then please hit the like button, drop me a comment and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. Join the channel as well to support if you'd like to get access to exclusive content. It's just other content and discount codes and free things that are extra. Okay, so the other way is using Atom Multistream. Now, it's a bit more tricky. TikTok don't like you doing it this way because they want you to be a slave to TikTok Live Studio. But I'm going to show you anyway, and you can pick which way you would like to do it. So Atom Multistream, you come over to the same website, link below in the description, click on Multistream, and you're going to download Atom Multistream plugin. Once that's downloaded, back into OBS. And this time you go to Docs and you go to Atom Multistream. I already have Atom Multistream down here. I have the built-in stream, which is activated by Start Streaming. And I have my secondary main canvas stream key, which is Becky Safe IRL. I have two Twitch channels because one is part of the DJ program and the other one is my IRL channel. Follow them below, love to see you there. Uh, so those two are there. If you want to add in a vertical canvas, click on the cog and come to vertical canvas, add output. And now you're going to go for TikTok and it says TikTok output, TikTok server, TikTok stream key. And after much searching, I can't seem to find a TikTok stream key. So there is a GitHub file that you can download that you can use to generate a TikTok stream key. So I'll leave that below in the description as well. So it's this one here, it's Streamlabs TikTok stream key generator. You don't need to use Streamlabs in order to use it. It's compatible with OBS Studio as well. It says that down here. Scroll down, go to the latest release version, which is here, download latest release here. So yours won't look like how mine does with TikTok username approved and true. What you need to do is connect your TikTok account via Streamlabs. So you're gonna have to download Streamlabs in order to link this stream key generator to your TikTok account, but you don't need to use Streamlabs in order to stream. Once you have downloaded Streamlabs and connected your TikTok account, it will then show your TikTok username in this window. And now you can load token. It will load a token for you. And in order to get the stream server and the stream key, you need to hit go live. Stream started successfully. Uh, because you don't have Streamlabs open, you don't have a stream to send, uh, but you now do have a server and a stream key. So you're gonna copy your server now into Atom Multistream, so vertical canvas. We've looked at doing Atom Multistream with a horizontal canvas, but now if we click on the vertical canvas and add output, we're gonna go to TikTok output, TikTok server, paste the server in there, go back in, get your stream key, copy that, 
and enter that into stream key and create output. Press OK. And this vertical canvas is now linked to Atom's vertical canvas. So you're going to need to have the Atom vertical canvas and Atom multi-stream in order to trigger the vertical canvas when you go live. Just be aware that TikTok will prefer you to use their TikTok Live Studio, but this is a workaround using the GitHub Stream Key Generator, whereby you can bypass Streamlabs and TikTok Live Studio and stream using Atom Multistream with the Stream Key and the vertical canvas. And then all you have to do is hit Start Streaming. Start streaming on your secondary main canvas or however many multiple main canvases you have, and then hit start streaming on your vertical canvas. That way you don't need to open up TikTok Live Studio and you don't even need to stream using Streamlabs, you can use OBS. Also one thing to note, once you've finished your streams and you've hit stop streaming in all of these, including the TikTok output, close everything immediately because it's a bit buggy with TikTok not ending the live stream or if there's another way that you find out, please let me know in the comments what works for you. This is quite a bit of a work around but it does work we have tried it out and it means that you can now stream using Atom multi-stream and the vertical canvas all with a few clicks of a button and you don't need to open up any other program. Everything that I've mentioned in this video is linked below in the description as well as links to my streams and also my website and my courses. If you'd like to learn from me and you enjoy my teaching style, please check out my school. I'm constantly updating with new courses to help you accelerate your learning and get to where you wanna be faster than if you were doing it by yourself. My name is Becky Safe and thank you for watching this video. I will see you soon. Bye.